The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome and happy Wednesday from Akuai. My name is Sensor Kesey. I'm our research and education specialist, and you are attending a webinar for the Professional Standards Institute. Uh, our host today will be Jeanette Zalba from Eastern Michigan University. Jeanette, take it away. Hi, I just want to welcome everyone and introductions to this Professional Standards Institute. That's our purpose today. I am from Eastern Michigan, the Mitten State, and I'll be your faculty chair for the Institute. If you want to follow along on your screen, hopefully you can all get there. Today we're going to talk about introductions of our team objectives and learning outcomes. Then we're gonna introduce you to our host and they'll um, give us a little bit of information about Colorado College. Then we're gonna talk about the schedule and lastly, we're gonna give you some homework. So hopefully this will go really well. I want anyone on the call to introduce themselves who's involved. We have some faculty members as well as our coordinator. So we'll start with Sarah. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah Burley Hollows. I'm the Assistant Dean of Student Life at Innes College, one of the multiple uh, arts and science colleges at the University of Toronto in Ontario, Canada. So shout out to any international members that uh, hopefully are coming or are, will see this webinar in the future. Bill Smith and Paul Brown cannot be with us today, but we want to say hello to them. You'll meet them at the Institute. And then Shelly. Good afternoon. My name is Shelly Wald. I'm currently an assistant director at the University of North Carolina in Greensboro. I'm the coordinator for the Professional Standards Institute, and I look forward to kind of working on some things in the background and working with our wonderful faculty chair and also with our host site. Thank you. A little bit about the goals of Professional Standards Institute. We are hoping to develop a further understanding of the standards and the ethical principles. You're going to learn ways to utilize and apply the standards, particularly in your own program. During the Institute, we'll also have a modified external review of our host institution. So one of the homeworks that we'll talk about later relates to this. You will learn about the components of a, involved in a review, and then you'll also gain perspective as a reviewer. And again, I'm sorry if there's a little oddness. My microphone and speakers are giving me a little echo. So with that, we want to introduce Colorado College to you. I believe we have John Lauer and potentially others on the line who will just welcome you. We can come back to them. I'm not sure if there's having some audio problems, but I want to give you a little bit more information about their department. Within a few years, they actually changed their residential life and housing office to include some other teams. So while we're there, we're going to be introduced to these two different areas, the Office of Residential Life and Campus Activities, and those are the folks who are doing the programming, student leadership, community building, Greek life, et cetera, as you see on the screen. And then also we're gonna meet people from the Office of Housing and Conferences. Those folks are doing assignments and contracts as well as the conferencing. We've actually started to work with both of these areas to not only work on being hosted at Colorado College, but also to think ahead about this modified external review that we will be doing of their institution. Now, I really encourage you to look at their website and see where we'll be staying. This is a 21st century project, the East Campus Housing Community. We are going to be staying in eight to 16 person facilities. Even It looks very exciting, even bigger than an, a typical apartment. You will be staying, though, where students stay during the year. 
and we want to introduce you to that and make sure you have a sense that that is um, the setup. You will have private showers and lavatories, but we're going to have some shared common areas as well. Our dining will be in the Rustal Cafe, which is managed by Bon Appetit. And then our sessions and breakouts will be in the community center. So again, wanna just double check to make sure anyone from Colorado College can't jump in. All right. Again, back to talking a little bit about that external review that we'll be doing. We're basically, while we're being hosted, also observing the campus and being able to provide some input about the experience we're having and what we're hearing about and seeing all through the lens of the professional standards. So as participants, we're gonna be asked to review a few specific areas and you will learn more about this in future emails, but just a few of the things we're probably gonna be looking at. Observations related to the restructuring, staffing, including sense of team and appreciation, and then the student experience. So we look forward to really looking at Colorado College with a close lens. Now what we want to do is talk a little bit about the schedule. And even though this, we spend a lot of time today talking about the schedule, the reason we do so is in part so you have a sense of, I guess, the intensity of the days. There are long, long days, but we get a lot done in these few days. So just wanna introduce you to the schedule. And again, we'll be following up this webinar with an email so that you have a little more detailed information and can answer those questions about the schedule or, or other PSI questions. So you're gonna arrive on Wednesday the 4th and you can arrive as needed. Uh, you will make your way to the campus and we will provide a light supper. Because it is the July 4th holiday, we've also asked, will there be an opportunity to see fireworks? And we've been told that if fireworks happen, we know that Colorado has some um, dry weather occasionally, that there are some locations right on campus that you can kind of see the backdrop. Um, but again, you'll be arriving and there's nothing formally scheduled on that day. We actually start the Institute on Thursday, July 5th. And we start it with our breakfast, and so we will eat all our meals together. But also, we start it with some pretty formal programs. There's a lot of presentations about introducing you to the standards, as well as some group work. And so you can see the schedule. We will work into the evening, planning for that modified external review, and we'll work in small groups. On Friday, July 6th, we'll continue. We'll actually then turn and take a tour of the facilities. And we'll spend most of the afternoon doing interviews of Colorado College staff. That's an exciting opportunity to not only get to know their staff, but really ask them questions about their experiences. And that'll help our final report that we will write as part of the modified external review. Then the Saturday, July 7th, which ends our day, we do about a half day together, and we will actually meet with Colorado College staff to introduce them to some of our findings, and then we'll spend some small group time wrapping up, as well as we'll have a little bit of a final assessment program. And then we're done. So these few days happen very quickly, uh, and we get so much done, though. So what I'll tell you as well is when the Institute is done, there will be shuttles available back to a Kuhoai hotel site. So if you're going to a Kuhoai, we can get you to those locations. All right. So those are a little bit of the logistics that we are covering. Want to go ahead and just give you a little bit of a basic introduction of the standards so that when you do some of the homework I'm gonna ask you to do later, you are a little bit prepped already. So what are the standards? And you can obviously read on the screen, but really these are statements that give us context of our professional area and they provide us not only criteria, 
criteria, but what good work means, what we should or could be doing in our programs. It's a code of practice of professionals, not unlike other codes of practice. We often talk about medical standards or medical ethics. And a standard reflects what would be essentially good performance. So why should we have these standards, particularly in housing work? It's actually a great measure of how our services and facilities are. As you'll learn at the Institute, it's also a way to assess and improve your housing program. So if you're wondering, wow, how could we be better? You could pull out those standards and start saying, do we do this or do we do this thing? We also wanna show our constituents that we are a group of professionals. So the standards might be a document that you're gonna use in working with other departments on your campus. And then also it can provide a criteria for either doing a self-study or an external review like we're going to do while we're at Colorado College, or it can also be used as preparation for accreditation. The standards have never been designed to force compliance. So there's no, a CUHO standards police coming to your campus to make sure you're following these. It is for each campus itself to determine how they will follow these items. A little bit about the structure and the format. It's a long document. It is a 25 page document and that's just for the standards alone. And they're written in broad terms in order to meet the needs of everyone. So obviously when Sarah introduced herself, she said hello to the international contingents. We obviously have people from all over the world. And so we need to make sure that not only the language and the content is useful for all of those folks. We also have both the standards. In addition, a complementary guide called the self-assessment guide that is really a checkbox and a plan in reviewing those standards on your own campus. And worry not, if you haven't seen these two documents, I'm gonna be asking you to get into them uh, again shortly when I talk about homework. The standards are used to improve the quality of the student experience. Uh, and the last thing I wanna note is they're really designed and updated by members like you. The Professional Standards Committee through ACUHO each year takes parts of the standards and they get updated by actual housing professionals each year. So this is the current info if you wanna go look at those standards uh, and you can find them pretty easily again on the ACUHO website. You'll have to do another click once you get there to see them, but I wanna just point that out because you'll be asked to do that. A Couple of the components within the standards, you'll see them on your screen. They are broken down by area. So you can see how you might want to utilize these in your own work and we'll be utilizing them at the Institute. I already mentioned the self-assessment guides. Basically, this is just a different formatting of those same standards. They're done in a, for lack of a better word, grid format. And it's a checkbox with a rating scale by which you can say, hey, do we do this? Do we do this? Do we do this? And it's very helpful to use, and I'm gonna show you that example next. So for instance, in the learning and development area, it breaks down to have a community development area. And here's some of the standards we would see listed. So in doing this, you would go ahead and provide yourself a score for each of these standards, which are repeated verbatim in the self-assessment guide. Here is the rating scale. And when you open up the self-assessment guide, you will see each of these ratings actually has almost a small paragraph underneath it to give you a greater sense of it. But this is that rating from one to five where five would be full compliance. And then just wanna note, we also have unknown or not applicable. There may be something that you say, you know what, I don't know much about this, or this is just something our institution has decided we won't be doing. So what is your homework before you get to PSI? Well, we have a couple pieces and I've already started to allude to that. The first thing is I'm gonna ask you to read those standards and ethical principles. 
Then I'm going to ask you to select a functional area and then complete one to two sections within that area of the self-assessment guide for your own institution. So maybe you'd pick student learning and development. Maybe you'd pick the facilities area. And then within that, you can pick a subsection. And we ask that you complete that self-assessment guide. So these are the first two components of your homework to do and bring to the institute. Now, the other piece of homework that, again, I'll send you an email with more detail about is as we prepare to go to Colorado College and do this modified external review to really look at their program, you will want to read ahead and we will give you access to some documents that Colorado College would provide for us. Just things like org charts or their programming model. All those documents that will help us get to know their different offices and their programs that we'll be looking at. So we're going to ask you to review those documents. Those documents we're going to put online at the ACUHO, one of the online communities that we'll set up just for participants of PSI. So know that that's coming. And again, we'll send you an email about that so that you can prepare and you'll start communicating with myself and the faculty regarding PSI. So next steps, I've already mentioned this, you'll get an email from us uh, in the upcoming days, and then you'll receive yet yeah, another communication from your individual team faculty members. So you saw a list of four of us, and you'll be assigned to one of us to work with for the breakout sessions that we have at the Institute. And then you'll, once we give you that email telling you how to access it, you'll be getting on and looking at the Colorado College material. A little bit about logistics, want to make sure I didn't miss anything, and we will also send you a participant guide as well. But again, participants will need to get to Colorado College uh, on their own, so just as a note. And you will be staying in student housing and student apartments, so they really look fabulous. Again, how many times do you get to stay in a 21st century project? I know I haven't. So uh, the other thing I want to note is just that the dress is casual. And so that's a way for us to just really enjoy our time together and have comfortable shoes when we do that tour. Um, of course, we will be in air conditioned areas, so dress accordingly. And because of Colorado College's location, just as a note, just wanted to put it in here that we need to stay hydrated because we are talking about a different um, altitude. <laughs> um, these are long days, so there's not a lot of free time. So if you're trying to do some sightseeing, you're gonna wanna do that before or after our program starts. With that, I think I probably rushed through the information. Um, we are gonna send a link to this recorded webinar. I uh, want to see if there's an opportunity for anyone else on the call to, to say anything or if, if there's anything we have missed, um, because I definitely did shoot through this material uh, very fast. In case you have some more questions about um, what the accommodations look like, towels, washcloths, all those kinds of things, um, Colorado College and I have partnered together to make a very long list of like instructions on where to go to check in. So if you're wanting those details, you'll be getting that from Jeanette in the next couple of weeks once we get a little bit closer uh, to July and to your arrival. So if you're wondering about those, you know we have a very long list to hopefully answer your questions before you have the questions. All right, I feel that that should conclude, Spencer, unless you have anything else from Akuho. No, that's all we've got. Thank you so much for hosting this webinar. Again, as we said, we'll be recording this and we'll be able to send this out to everyone who's unable to make it. So if you have any questions, please do reach out to one of those email addresses on your screen. Hello, this is John Lauer. Um, 
we've been trying to interject and welcome you, but uh, it looks like maybe the audio is working now on our end. I do hear you, John. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that uh, technology. We, we do promise it's a 21st century residence hall. I am not in it right now, obviously. I'm in a building built in 1906. So we are very excited to, to welcome you all to Colorado Springs and Colorado College. Uh, I had several members of my team here with me initially. Uh, they've all moved on to, to other things as we struggled with the technology. But um, again, uh, the picture that you see on your screen is our newest uh, residential facility housing juniors and seniors. And uh, that end building is the community center when many, where many of our meetings will be taking place. So uh, we can't tell you how excited we are to have you join us and, and provide uh, your professional insights into our program and operations and uh, I went through the PSI myself uh, a few years ago and um, it's a very very valuable experience and we're glad to have you with us. John thank you we definitely look forward to coming and visit and to see the picture again we're we're looking forward to staying there. Terrific. Again, sorry for the technical difficulties on our end. That is okay. Spencer, with that, I think we can end. All right, again, thank you so much and have a great rest of your days.